Hey there everyone, my name is JW, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another awesome tank tutorial for you. But first, like always, we're going to mention the tank yard. If you're interested in joining the tank yard, look no further. All you have to do is enter your gamer tag. Where do you enter your gamer tag? Well, either on our Discord server, in the tank yard section on the Discord server, or on the YouTube comments down below in this video. And what gamer tags am I looking for? Well, I'm looking for your Java. Bedrock, Xbox, PlayStation, or Nintendo Gamer Tag, and you'll be entered into the tank yard here and receive a shout out at the start of the video. And also, if you're interested in requesting a build to be built, you gotta join the Discord server for that one. So, if that sounds good to you, let's carry on. And today, we are building this the AMX 13 DCA 40, an anti aircraft variant of the AMX 13 series. Which, uh, I guess this is the intermediate variant, because there's a later variant, and there's a prototype variant, and this is after the prototype variant. The AMX-13 series is, has a lot of variants. So let's carry on. So that means we're going to France today. Viva la France! All my French subscribers, thank you, thank you. So, down to France we go. Down the line. We need to add some more French tanks. So here we are at the front AMX-13 DCA-40. So let's get to building her, shall we? Today you're going to be needing Paul's Andersite, Stone Brick Stabs, Stone Brick Stairs, Lime Terracotta, Andersite Wall, Stone Stairs, Stone Slabs, and Block of Coal. Once you find a spot where you want to build, we're going to start with right here. Right here looks good. All right, so we're going to do one, skip, two, skip, three, skip, four, skip, five, skip. And one, two, three, and one. Two, three, four, five. Just like that. Alright, next we're gonna do one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that. Next, upside down stairs. One, two of the stone brick variant. Coming to the back, we're gonna put two placeholders and do stone brick slabs on the upper part. There we go. Next we're gonna do stone brick stairs right there. We'll put Paul Shanders on top of these stone brick stairs and follow through with more stone brick stairs. Next, we're going to grab a lime terracotta and do one, two, skip, and three. Just like that. Next, we're going to put a Paul Shanders on the back here and then one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And your track section is complete. Now remember, if I'm going too fast for you, you can always pause, rewatch, rewind, and do what you need to do to get this awesome tank into your world. So let us continue, shall we? All right, so we're going to remove these two, but keep your pulse inner sight. We're going to use that later. At the front, we're going to put a row of three stone slabs, followed by a row of three stone stairs. Then more stone slabs filling up the floor. right to the last road wheel right there next we're going to put two blocks like this and then two pulse intersite walls like that and then we're just going to do a ring of lime terracotta all the way around the vehicle should have something that looks like this all right put that pulse intersite block there and you're done with that actually no wait no you're not grab it back and you might need it later all right row of stone sta stone slabs Next, we're going to grab some stone stairs, put them right there, and then one reversed. Next, we're going to put two blocks of coal right there, and that is done. You're going to bring a row of lime terracotta all the way to here, back around, and back up front. Here, we're going to put a row three uh, stairs that way, and two stairs this way. Next, we're going to put slabs right there. And we're going to put full blocks right here and here. On the other side, on the right hand side of the vehicle, or passenger side, we're going to put a uh, polished andesite. Then we're going to put three polished andesite blocks. There we go. So we should have something that looks like that. All right, and that will do it for the chassis. And now it is time for the turret. We're going to put a full Full blocks right there so separate the compartment we're gonna put one two stairs right here followed by slab in between put one two blocks behind and then one stair off to the side of each one like so 
Next, we're going to do three blocks on each side. One, two, three. Oh. And one, two, three. Now, the chests below these three blocks are not going to be usable. Alright, so next we're going to put two polishing andesite right there. Of the polishing andesite walls. And then three upside down stairs, stone stairs. Like so. And then three upright stone stairs. One upright stone stair on each side. Followed by a slab. Followed by another stone stair. And then finish up with stone stairs right there. Your turret is finished. Almost. We're going to add a slab row three on top right there on the back of the turret. Now let's add the, I think it's a 40 millimeter bofers. We're going to do one and two. Then we're going to do one, two, three. And there we go. And one, two so far up front. And that will probably do it for your main body before we add the cosmetic. So we're all done with that. So now let's add the cosmetics, shall we? For cosmetics, you'll be needing a chest, nether brick fence, flower pot, brown wool, iron bars, iron trapdoor, oak sign, dark oak wood fence gate, and dark oak trap doors. So let's get the chests out of the way. We're going to do one, two, one, two, and crouch for these three. One, two, three. There we go. On the other side, we're going to do one, two, and one. We're also going to do two at the back, because actually you can double stack them, because that's where your ammo is going to be. And that will do it for your chest. Your nether brick fence is going to go in the left hand side of the turret or driver side of the turret. Your flower pots are going to go on top of these andesite walls as your optics. Brown wool as your rolled up tarp hanging off the back of the turret. Next, your iron bars for your antenna. One, two, three. There we go. Next, we're going to switch to our iron trap doors. We're going to put one here, run here, over the tracks, and three over the upper glaciers. And we can come inside the vehicle and place them inside for a floor. There we go. And also on the back right here. Just like so. Next, your oak signs are going to go over the viewports. There we go. Next. We're going to put one at the front here, so we can get that nice smooth. And then we're going to put one up here and one down here. Same over here, one here, one here. Your dark oak trap doors, one, two, right there. And then one, two, one, two, and one, and two. We're also going to put one up front. And then two on this side. Just like that, and that is done. Let's grab some more cosmetic material, shall we? So you're going to be needing dark oak button, polished black stone button, heavy weighted pressure plate, and rod, green carpet, glass pane, and item frame. All right, so let's get the end rods in for your gun. So we're going to do one. We're going to have to uh, placeholder block. So we're going to do this. Uh, let's see. Right, we're going to put that right there we're gonna bring out the placeholder you want this to be like that and then you have to go around and let's see place it like that or you can use chains or whatever but I like to add this so because it gives that little flare at the end of the barrel all right so that's it with the end rod all right so next we're gonna go to a weighted heavy weighted pressure plates two right there and done. Next, we're going to go to green carpet. We're going to one, two, three, and four. Same over here. Crouch to place. One, two, three, and four. There we go. Next, we're going to grab our item frames right here. And then glass panes and twist and twist. Those are your headlights. And now let's finish up with our buttons. So we'll put one there. And one, two, three. You can even put one here in the cheeks of the turrets if you want. There we go. And also on the back here. And last, we have our dark oak ones, which go for our road wheels. 
And there you have it, folks. You have successfully completed the AMX-13 DCA-40 French Cold War AA gun. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button wherever they're going to move to. Hit that subscribe button as well. I love a new edition by one of our wonderful subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much for doing what you do. Liking, subscribing, and sharing, and all that. It really means a lot to me. It means a lot to the channel. It means a lot to the community. Speaking of community, don't forget to join the Discord server. Link is down in the description for you so you can chat, post, uh, hang out, and share your stuff that you're very interested in, like tanks and planes and stuff like that, even on the Minecraft tank guy. I like other military stuff too. So, if that sounds good to you, remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye! <laughs>